Hello everybody, welcome to Stealing 33 Plays FTL. Uh, as you know, I'm Stealing 33, and uh, they asked me to fill in for the Wednesday show, because uh, our normal lineup is, uh, we're kind of getting the kinks worked out, and some of our shows didn't quite get on schedule, but uh, not to fear, Stealing's here to kind of, you know, pick it up with, uh, we're just going to run FTL. Um, FTL is a game where you take control of a spaceship as you travel through space, and uh, you're trying to outrun uh, these guys, the Rebels, who are trying to destroy, like, the Federation of Planets, and, uh, they're bad guys, clearly. And so, um, I've been playing a lot of this lately. It's a lot of fun. It's a really good game. They just released a new expansion pack called FTL Advanced Edition. Um, this won't be a regular show. I mean, unless, you know, it's demanded that it become a regular show, in which case, yeah, we'll be more than happy to play more of this. But for now, uh, let's get started. We'll go to new game, and we'll pick a ship. So, I have a few of the ships unlocked, but, um, I don't really like too many of them um uh, the kestrel is the basic ship it's just like uh, you're the first one you get the ng ship it uses a lot of drones and stuff like that the zoltan cruiser has a big energy shield and so they normally don't start with shields the lania ship is the hardest ship i think in the game right now i don't remember actually um they start out pretty balanced. They're kind of like the Kestrel, except the Lanius crew don't need oxygen, so they suck the oxygen out of rooms. They're kind of assholes. Uh, the Stealth Cruiser is, doesn't have any shields, but starts with a stealth control module, so it can turn invisible. And the Slug Cruiser relies on, like, disintegrating people inside. Um, but for the first one, I think we're going to go with the Lanius Cruiser, because it's the new ship from the new expansion. It's also pretty basic. It doesn't, like, there's not a lot to go on. Uh, I'm pretty garbage at the game, so I'm gonna be uneasy. Um, I, you know, it's kind of a cop-out, like, because it does go up to normal and then hard. But, um, it's just easier for me to play, and it'll be funner for you guys to watch and stuff like that if I play uneasy. So, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna rename the ship the Kroos. Sounds like a fun name, but we're gonna call it the Crusader. Uh, the USS Crusader. Um... And of course, our pilot, Captain... Oh, where'd my mouse go? Mouse. Oh, it's, I gotta hit enter. <laughs> our pilot's going to be named Andre. Our Lanius dude on the weapon system is gonna be Eric. Um, Bovi, ja Jason Bovi is gonna be Bravo Dre. Alright. That's, uh, of course, my brother. Um, actually, you know, we'll just, we'll just call him Antonio. And uh, any other crew we pick up will be named after the other Crusaders as we pick them up. But I only start with three crews who so deal with it. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. All right, so this is our ship. Uh, we have one chain laser, which is over here. Uh, the game's paused. It's this uh, weapon right here. It shoots lasers, and it charges up. And the more it fires, the faster it shoots. So it's uh, it can get pretty fast, and um, I think it goes up to five times, and then at like five times it shoots like stupidly quickly. Then we have an ion stunner, which we can't power up because we don't have enough system power. So we're going to turn off our clone bay and turn on the ion stunner. It's always better to have your weapons on. Your clone, the clone bay, basically, if somebody dies, uh, they get resurrected in the clone bay. Um, but actually, you know what? I have enough for another system power, so I should turn that back on. Um, the clone bay just brings him back to life, and then every jump, it heals everybody on board the ship for an amount. Uh, we have our oxygen system. It pumps oxygen into the place, except for the rooms with the Lanius crew guys in it, because they suck the oxygen out of rooms that they're in, but they don't need oxygen to live, so that's a good thing. We've got our shields. We've got our engines, which they let us dodge, and it affects our FTL charge rate, which is how we like jump from place to place. Uh, we have a hacking system. Hacking, basically, you like shoot a drone at a ship, and then it like, latches on, and you can, like, do bad stuff to their ships. It's really good. Our piloting system, sensors, and doors, whatever. Uh, Alright, so let's uh, take our first jump. I want to avoid... These spaces are nebulas, and nebulas are nasty business. You want to kind of try to avoid them whenever you can. Uh, we're going to aid the Federation ship and get into a bit of combat here. Alright, so here's our first combat in FTL. So, um, we're going to turn auto fire on and shoot our ion stunner at the shields. The ion stunner basically is like, it's like an energy pulse. It shoots like this little yellow goob at it and it basically just turns off the shields and then we're going to shoot our chain laser at their weapons to try to like take those offline um it'll be better for us in the long run if we can take them offline and keep them offline uh, obviously for obvious reasons you know you, uh, no shields means no damage to us which means happy andre 
So, you know, it's all good stuff. So, we're shooting our chain laser, getting our stuff ready. Uh, missiles go through shields, but our shields will block laser shots, uh, which come from this type of weapon here. Um, basically, anything that isn't a missile can get blocked by a shield. Um, and obviously, I, any ion weapons that hit shields will take them offline, so... You know, that's a pain. The soundtrack in this game is is fantastic. It's one of my favorite soundtracks, and it's fan it's really good. Okay, so for blowing up that ship, we got a missile, one drone, and 17 scrap. Scrap is like the money in the game. Use it to upgrade your ship and stuff like that. Try to rescue the crew. We got Zinzin, Zin, the uh, Mantis Man. We got another 12 scrap, another drone, and another missile. But Zinzin, Zin, I've been told that I can I can edit you. So how do I edit you? I can edit you. All right. So here we have Robert, Robert the Mantis, uh, and Rob's gonna go ahead and man our shield room. I think I spelled Robert wrong. I think Robert only has one B in it. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and sh there. Eh, that looks, that's fine, whatever. You know what, fuck it, we're just gonna call him Rob. He's just gonna be Rob the Mantis. There we go, fine. Um, I'm gonna break these up into like 30 minute parts, um, or I'll like, or however, Basically, it'll be either, it'll go until we die, but each episode should be about 30 minutes long. That's what I'm kind of hoping on. Um, it's sort of like my shtick as far as like the way I make videos, which is, you know, sort of on me, but whatever. Right, let's try to turn off their shields here, and then we'll shoot their engines because they're trying to escape, so we're, we want to try to... We want to, so their their FTL is charging, which means that they're trying to run away, and uh, we want to stop that, obviously, for obvious reasons that I should really have to tell you guys. Um, Lonnie's guy, or Eric, why don't you go into that room and deal with that? Um, quick, stop them, stop them, stop them, stop them, please, please. Oh, thank God. Okay. We just gotta, we gotta keep all of their, their piloting and their engines have to be offline basically forever now. Um, that's our goal, and if we can do that, then we'll be golden, pony boy. And we're good! Yeah, so they exploded, they didn't escape, they didn't tell the rebels were here. All good things. Alright, so we'll just keep jumping around here. Um, basically, every time we show up at one of these things, we get a mission or a thing to do, and we do it. Uh, so this one's, uh, they want us to hand over one of our crew to, as slaves, but we're not going to surrender any of our crew to slaver scum. Bastard slavers. They don't know what hit him. I'm Andre the Great, the commander of the Crusader. You will never stop us. You're a fool for challenging us. I don't even know why, like, an ion stunner plus missiles seems counter- like... Seems like overkill to me. Oh, god, they took out the O2 system. Uh, quick, Lanius guy, go fix the O2 system. And Actually, Antonio, why don't you go fix the doors? <laughs> um, don't need our hacking system right now, it's not important. Um... Yeah. All right. Uh, Grizzly. All right. We'll take your human dude. Why don't you go in here and man this for and fix this up a little bit? You go back into the engine room, Eric. Eric's the engine guy, right? Right. Yeah. Antonio's the weapon guy. All right. So Antonio, weapon guy. Go back in the weapon room, and we need to rename Grizzly to Nick. All right. Good. So now we got all the Crusaders on board, which is you know. Awesome. I'm excited about that. And uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. I'll go ahead and jump away. I think I might have just boxed myself into a corner, actually. I don't know if there's actually anywhere to... Um, I don't know if there's actually anywhere to jump from here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I trapped myself. Uh-oh. All right, so now we got to go back through the Rebels, basically. And I gotta leave, like, four jumps through Rebel Space, which is gonna be bad. We're basically just gonna try to run. I think this is gonna end very badly. I did not plan out my route properly. I thought that there were more nodes over there, and I was wrong. For obvious reasons, I was wrong. Um, come on, chain laser. Shoot the shields. We gotta kill these guys and get out of here. So, they, so when you jump into, the, like, the Rebel-controlled spaces, um the big rebel ships shoot at you, and that's a nightmare um, by itself, let alone the fact that these ships are always a sector ahead of you. So, like, they're very strong, powerful ships. Um, definitely not something to be trifled with. 
Um, so we want to try to get out of here as quickly as possible. I might even, like, this will probably be one of the first fights I actually, like, actively run away from. Um, we really need to get out of here. Uh, I, like, like, we need to go. Because we're not going to get anything out of this. Like, we're going to, like, jump out of here and I'm going to, like, even if we won, I wouldn't get any scrap or anything like that because, uh, this is going to, I'm going to have to, like, restart this run. I'm gonna have to restart this run. All right, no, we're restarting because I'm not gonna survive like a bunch, uh, like six more trips through rebel-controlled space. All right, so we're gonna power up that, power up our weapons, and get ready to try again. Mulligan, that never happened. Um, all right, so we're back again with the Andre, Eric, and Antonio crew. Let's uh dislodge the ship. Uh, wow, we hurt ourselves on accident. That sucks. Um, Eric, why don't you go fix that? Do 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 do. Um, so there is a trick to the Lania ship that I'm considering employing. Basically, like, because the Lanias don't require any oxygen, we can just, like, vent the oxygen in all of the parts of the ship that don't contain humans or things that need oxygen. And then, like, that way, like, we don't really have to worry about fires and we don't have to worry about, like, anything. And then the oxygen system will just keep the oxygen flowing in that one room forever and it'll be fine. Um... It's kind of a cheesy tactic, but it, it especially works nice uh, later in the game when you start getting people who are, like, who invade you. Like, people, like, board your ship and, like, take it over. And so it can be a huge pain in the ass to, like, deal with that. And, um, you know, with no oxygen in your ship, obviously they all suffocate, so it's, like, bully to that. Um, but I think I might close the doors to any of the rooms that contain crew members. So that, that way, like, in the event of, in the event of asteroid-based attack, uh, or in the case we get boarded, that way they'll have to, like, try to cut their way through, like, doors and stuff, which won't work good for them. Alright, um, but that's all to come later. For now, we're on the ship. This theme, this track is just super good. It's just so super good. Um, alright, we'll jump to this distress beacon and see what's up. Hello, this is Captain Gracias coming in. You hear me? Over. Ion weapon. Fire. Alright, I we got some scrap for turning off uh I, I'm sorry I'm not reading any of the stuff, but like if I read everything, these runs would take a billion years, and frankly I don't have a billion years. It's pretty late. I wanna go to bed. I got class tomorrow. <laughs> so we're just gonna go until we die. Um again. You know, hopefully in a in a more climactic fashion than just I made a mistake and got our got us trapped. Uh, let's intervene and defend the outpost from this automated rebel scout thingy. Alright. Alright. Um, I got 10, 10, 10. Look at that. 10 fuel, 10 missiles, 10 drone parts. Not that we actually need drone parts. We're not using drones right now. I mean, our hacking unit uses a drone every time we, we launch one, but um, like, that, that hardly counts, because like the first couple sectors, you don't really need to use drone parts. It's not important. Um, it becomes important later, like much later, but um, not really important during the first couple sections. But yeah, like chain laser is just tearing them apart. It like shoots pretty quickly, and as Antonio gets better at using the weapons, he will um, inevitably like be able to fire faster and faster and stuff like that. And uh, I should explain, so each crew member can level up in the task that they're given. Like, Eric and Andre work together to make the ship dodge, and every time we dodge, Andre goes up, like, I go up one piloting skill, this skill, and Eric goes up one engine skill. Antonio goes up by one weapon skill every time he fires a weapon. And just by being on the weapon system, he makes us shoot faster. So it's really good. Um, we're going to attack the pirates, because pirates are douchebags. Um, that's basically going to be our mantra the entire time. It's just, we're going to attack this person because this person is, you know, a dick. Um, you know, it's a doggy dog world out there, and I'm just trying to make them into Stroganoff. I'm not actually sure where I was going with that, but there you go. Making them into Stroganoff. Go ahead and just sap your weapon energy with our hacking tool. So you can, I can attach our hack tool onto anything on their ship, and, um, it'll, like make that system not work good. Andre, speak English great, yes? <laughs> uh, oh, they took our sensors offline. Eric, why don't you go fix the sensors? Um, now, do we kill the pirates? 
because that's a pretty good amount of stuff. And then I can sell that defense drone. 21 scraps, pretty good. And two fuels, pretty good. All right, I'll take it. Only because I really don't want to deal with them anymore. Like, for no other reason than I just don't want to deal with them. Um, let's take a look here. So we're, we're going to sell the defense drone because we don't have a drone control unit. And I'm not going to buy a drone control unit here. That, that would be silly. Um... Uh, I, like, want... Like, we don't really need emergency respirators. They're pretty cool, but... Mm, no, I think we'll... We'll just... We'll work on the ship for now. Get two extra bars of shields and an extra thing of doors. So now we have two shields, basically. Now, like, we have, like... You can see it's, like, a, like a darker blue color. Um, now, now our shield will block two shots until it goes away. Um, not a big deal. We got Ken the NG. Uh, Kenji, Ken, Kenji, Kenji. Uh, but that is not going to be Ken the NG. That is going to be Rob the NG. All right. It's it's also funny because Rob is the name of that weird um, Nintendo robot guy, and NGs are robots. Um, the cool thing about NGs is that they repair things really quickly. Um, they're the fastest repairing uh, unit in the game. I know that doesn't sound like it makes sense, but they, like, fix stuff quicker. I think they fix stuff, like, 20% faster than everyone else. Um, which is real good. Especially, you know, later in the game when you start getting, like... Your and your shields are offline and you're being pelted by asteroids in an asteroid field. You know, being able to take their shields down is probably a good move. Um, go ahead and... Oh, well, I made a mistake. Their defense drone came back on as I launched my hacking thing, so it like shot it down. So that's why it didn't quite, didn't quite make it. Didn't, didn't quite make it. That's all right. We're gonna go ahead and launch um, some laser beams at uh, their shields. I think they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Freaking pirates! Uh, contact the civilian ship. Civilian, the civilian ship fixed our hull, and we're good to go. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? Um. Hail the ship. Hacking. Disable the weapons. Uh, you can never trust a Federation ship. Here, take your standard toll. I really do need to boot bills as elsewhere, scum. Whatever. Um, that could have gone one of two ways. It either could have gone horribly or could have gone exactly like that. And it went like that. So, you know what? That's, we're good. Um, so, we're in an abandoned sector now. This uh, sector is dominated by the Lanius, the crew that like my ship is modeled after. Um... And, uh, so there's lots of Lania ships, lots of interesting events take place here. There's uh, lots of chance to get crew and stuff like that. Um, and of course, everywhere there's pirates. There's always frickin' pirates. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So they're gonna, they have a, so they have an ion, an ion weapon, and a beam. Beams can't go through shields, but they normally hit more than one room at a time. Um... And so, like, if we didn't have that second bar of shields, this ion weapon would have taken down our shields, and then the beam would have torn our, through our shields. But since we do have, you know, second bar of shields, that didn't happen. Uh, but I don't need to, you know, tell you guys that. You can see it. You're watching it occur. Um, you know what this it, soundtrack reminds me of? It reminds me of, like, uh, Eiffel 65 uh, CDs from, like, the 90s. Um... Lots of, like, this, like, space rope-tronic, like, stuff that was really popular in the 90s. Uh, I mean, I'm digging it. I really like it, but, you know. I also was super hype on Eiffel 65. I'm gonna take Aki. So, Aki is a, um... What's it called? What you who's it's? Um... Can't remember the name. I am so blanking. Um... Zoltan. There is, he's a Zoltan. Uh, Zoltans are a, a race. You can see it on the right there while I need to name him to Nick. Uh, they provide power to the system that they're inside. Uh, they don't have a lot of HP, and they explode when they die. Uh, so we're going to have Nick the Zoltan man the door system. Uh, that way we can have like these like super blast doors, so they're like really hard to cut through. Um, so it'll take like invaders and stuff like that a lot longer to get at our crew, and also allow us to, you know, starve them for oxygen and kill them in a slow, horrible manner. Alright, we're gonna launch a drone, a hacking thingy at the 
this thingy and then do this thingy and then blast them with this thingy. And of course the crusade march is on unabated and unstoppable. No one can stop us for we are the gamer crusaders. Oh ho! You know, it's nice to be able to get like the other the other guys like in on um <laughs> On like uh, this episode, even though like they're not, they actually couldn't like they're not awake right now. I think most of them are asleep. I know Antonio's asleep right now. He had to go to bed early because he's got work tomorrow and stuff. Um, but uh, you know the other guys like they're they're either asleep or um, busy right now. Um, or though Eric might not be. I don't know. That's not important. <laughs> we're back here. Um, so right now we're in front of this like ion storm thingy. Really annoying. I really hate these things. Um, they're super bothersome. So basically, what'll happen is it's gonna like pulse with ion energy and like knock our systems offline. And oh god, they hit us really hard. Eric, why don't you come in here and fix the fix the fix the weapons? Weapons are important. Please get those back online. I would appreciate that. Please, please. I need to take off. Like I need to shoot them with something. <laughs> That needs to occur quickly. Okay, Eric, go back into the engine room. Suck out some of the oxygen. Okay, their shields are offline. Hit their weapons. Hit their shields. Ah! Our shields are offline, so it's really important that this chain ion fires faster than it is, because it's, it's not it's not doing its job. Um, I mean, their FTL is delayed because of the ion, the pulsar. The pulsar? It's a pulsar, right? Yeah, pulsar. That's what it is. Um, the USS Bum Crusader is kind of taking a beat in here. We've lost a lot of hull damage. I really hate ion storm or uh, pulsars. There's I there's pulsars and then ion storms. Anything that like fucks with your systems is super annoying. Uh, I'm gonna send Alanius in to deal with the fire and the and the because like he'll suck the oxygen out of the room and then the fire will die. So it'll be okay. And we're gonna jump to the store over here. Um, hopefully we can maybe pick up a new weapon. I would like a new weapon. Something that isn't awful. A glaive beam definitely falls into that category. So the glaive beam is like the best it's the best beam weapon in the game. It's super strong, it cuts through like a lot of shields, and it hits really hard. It just requires a lot of power. But we're gonna buy it, because I'd be an idiot not to buy it. Um It'd be like passing up like rockets in Halo. It's just like, why would you do that? That seems like a dumb thing. Um, but you know, alas, poor Yorick. I don't. Uh, oh, look, there's fire. <laughs> oh crap, there's a fire over here. Uh, all right, why don't you come out of there? Uh, you go back into the this thingy. All right, Rob. You guys are all pretty banged up, aren't you? Aren't you? All right. Rob, go back into the shield room, and we'll get ready to jump. So remember, every time we jump, our crew gets healed by a little bit when we complete the jump. And, um, we'll request some scrap. Um, alright, cool. I mean, I'm game for free stuff. We basically just asked them for scrap, and they gave us it. Which, you know, is pretty cool. Um, oh, our shields aren't powered up all the way. Um, that's bad. Uh, oh, I don't have enough power. Uh, crud. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to power down the clone bay for a little bit. Glaive beam is... Their weapons are on fire. Eric, get in there. Fix those. Fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Oh, shit. Uh, everything's going... Everything's coming apart. It's all coming apart. Alright, come on. Launch the stupid... Alright, good. Fire. Alright. We'll stick to this combination for now until I can get the energy necessary to like make that work because once I can get that working everything's golden um I need the oh that's that's bad go ahead and open that door up um I mean I don't want them to surrender no we're not gonna disrupt their surrender they're on the ropes there's no way they can there's no way they can possibly win now I mean they're in trouble They're in trouble, and I wager they knew it. That's why they were like, Oh, please spare us. We didn't mean to attack you. And I'm like, Bullshit. 
you totally meant to attack us because you guys are dicks. All right, we're going to power up that a little bit more. Nick, why don't you go in here and repair the sensors? We're going to fix fix up for a second while we wait. Uh, I powered up the Columbia a little bit more so we can get a little more healing per jump. Because Antonio's, Antonio's a little hurt. Like, everybody's just a little hurt, but Antonio's pretty hurt. So, you know, better not to have a bunch of crew that's super hurt. I mean, I think that's, like, basic tactics. Um, inquire about their process. Offer to help in the process. Decline their offer. All right. Because um, I didn't have enough scrap. I, like... I just don't want to get caught again. I'm worried. I, I'm, like, worried. I want to go get this distress beacon. Because distress beacons are good sources of, like, scrap and stuff. But at the same time, it's just not worth the risk. We'll intervene and defend the outpost, I guess. I mean, that's always good. Uh, it looks like Rob has been mind-controlled. So we're actually going to shoot at the mind control system over there. Rob, stop shooting the shields. Don't do it. They're not your enemy. Do you know your enemy, Rob? Your enemy? Do you know your enemy? Something? Away, away. Ah. Taking a lot of damage. I mean, it's not... It's damage we can't really avoid. I should upgrade my engines more. Uh, so I, we can dodge easier. Better. Uh, doors have been fixed. We got a little bit more scrapola. And uh, we don't want to go to nebulas. Nebulas are a pain. I think what we're going to do is we're going to chart a course like this. Um, and the reason I want to go to so many hostile sectors instead of civilian sectors is because uh, you get better scrap from the hostile sectors, at least in my experience. I could be wrong. It's a very big possibility. I'm also very new at this game, so... Um, but uh, in my experience, going to hostile sectors normally nets you a fair bit of scrap. Counter their hacking with my hacking. Okay, and then we'll stun their uh, shields, and we'll fire on their weapons. You may fire when ready. All right, fire. All right, cool. So Antonio leveled up in his weapon skill, so now he's a green weapon guy. Uh, green weapon guy means that he, I think he fires, a, like, 15% faster instead of 10% faster. So a lot quicker now. Um, not a lot quicker, actually. It's actually not very much at all, but, um, you know, any amount is, is a helpful amount. That's my feelings on it, at least. We need another, like, we need a better weapon. And I know the glaive beam, I could, like, use the glaive beam, but, um... I don't have the power. I don't have the power for it right now. And uh, until we get the power for it, we're kind of shit out of luck. Um, so actually, now I can use the glaive beam and... Um, sh I gotta turn off a lot of stuff. So now I can use the glaive beam and the ion stunner, which is super good. So now I can like turn off a bar of shields and then glaive beam them. Um, Shirt for the ship. Take the weapon and any... Grab the stasis chain. Um, it looks like a massive asteroid's direct collision course with the derelict ship. You have to pull your crew out, but they want to grab what they can first. What do you take? Um, uh, weapon or stasis? Ah, I mean, we don't need, wait, I was just saying we need a weapon. Grab the stasis chamber. Um, got the damaged stasis pod. All right. I, I, that's an event for something. I just don't remember what. I think it might be for, the, for like, the crystal ship. Let's booby trap the cache. Yeah. Delay the crap out of them. So every time, like, w what I did there was basically I, I gave up missiles in order to um, delay the the rebel fleet. So now for two turns they just won't go anywhere. They just stick over on the left side here, and um, it's a lot. It's really nice. Just just really nice. Um, I don't think they're actually going to be able to get through us. I think this is a single laser. Yeah, it's a single laser, which means I don't think they can ever actually get through our shields, which is super good, um, which means we're going to tear them apart. Uh, oh, well, that beam drone, or that defense drone is shooting down all of our ion shots, so we're going to go ahead and fire something that can't be blocked and <laughs> kill them in one hit. All right, that's fantastic. Um, Burst Laser Mark III is also a very good weapon, but not, not good enough for me to, like, sell all of my stuff in order to get it. Um, perhaps someone can repair it. 
perhaps someone can repair it indeed. Um, we'll go to this other store, because this is where I was going anyway. Um, and we'll check out what they have in here. They have a med bay, which is nice. The med bay replaces our clone bay, and basically, like, you can put people in there and they get healed. Uh, but if they die, they die. It's that kind of a thing. Um, it, it is nice, and it's the normally what you have, but, um, you know, not, not willing to, like, spend 50 scrap on it to get it. It's not really important to me. Um, try to shield their ship with mine. Alright, their ship exploded. We got scrap. Good enough, good enough. Alright, keep jumping around here. There goes this. Alright, go over here. I want to try to hit as many, like, in these early sectors, it's important to try to hit as many, um, as many of these things as possible. Here you can see, like, we got boarded, but because he boarded us with our Lanius crew, basically, he's just suffocating in there now, and there's just nothing he can do about it. And now he's dead. So now, you know, we are the, we are the victors. And it's, like, he's kind of, that was, like, that's stupid. I, I would... There, you, I have, like, one of the ships that has, like, the boarding. Like, that's, like, their shtick. I, and I think it's stupid. Like, I try to avoid the Lanius sectors at all costs. Because, like, if you don't, um... Or if you go to the Lanius sectors, you just can't board anybody. Because, like, every time you board somebody, it's just like, There's no air in our ship. Fuck you. And you're just like, oh, okay, well, that's dumb. I got an anti-personnel drone floating out in space. It's cool. Um, probably gonna sell that later. <laughs> um, listen to their problem. Send the human crew member to communicate with the Mantis. Mantis is grateful to see another human and introduces him as Robert Smith. He explains he's from a nearby human colony. Would appreciate a thing. Okay. Uh, I'll offer him a position on my ship. Alright, Smith, Smith the Mantis. Uh, who will be named... Uh, I'll think about it. I'm gonna name him... We're going to name him Tony. Robert Smith. No, you are now Tony Mantis. Mantis. Tony Mantis. All right. Tony Mantis, everyone. Tony Mantis. Apparently super good at repair, which is ironic because Mantis has... I think they start with like 15% reduction in repair speed or something like that. Like, they just can't fix stuff because they have stupid Mantis hands, which aren't actually hands that like claws. Uh, they upgrade our reactor from some scrap. All right, cool. We got free reactor stuff, so we're gonna go ahead and turn back on the clone bay before somebody dies. Um, so because we have the stasis pod, I want to try to go to like NG or Zoltan uh, places because uh, it's a lot more likely that we'll bump into somebody that can actually fix um, fix us. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I guess we'll turn on the distress beacon and wait for a little bit. Um. We'll buy five five fuel for 20 scrap. That's not bad. Um, we'll go to the store, buy some more fuel. Um, it's embarrassing that that happened. Normally, I'm a lot better at managing my fuel than that. But, you know, everybody makes mistakes. Um, all right, let's jump to this distress beacon, see what we can see. All righty, hail them for assistance. Try to shield the ship. All right, I did it. They gave me fuel and a bunch of scrap. And my ship is on... F my oxygen system is on fire. Oh, uh, that's... bad. Um, Lanius, why don't you guys... Since you guys don't need oxygen, why don't you go in there and... You know, fix the oxygen. <laughs> Good job, guys. Real proud of you. The sooner you guys fix that, the slower we will die. Which is good. All right, we'll go everybody back to their stations. Super good. Close all the doors. Get on the floors, and everybody's gonna do the dinosaurs. All right, and uh, we'll go here. Yeah, you can just kind of just get lost in the music in this game. I'll give them 15 missiles. I don't need missiles. I'm not using a missile weapon, so it's not useful for me. Um, no, we're gonna attack you, because fuck you being a pirate and shit, you doucher. I should really upgrade um, the weapon system twice more so we can use the chain laser as well. But I'm not even sure if I want to stick with the chain laser. The ion stunner is awful, but, you know, the, uh, I want to try to get something better than the chain laser if I can. Uh, the glaive beam is super good, but, um, 
I just know that later, like, we're gonna need... We're gonna need better weapons than this, and we don't have them, and so it's a problem. Alright, let's try to... I wanna try to cut through as many systems as possible. Or as many rooms as possible with this thing. Yeah, fuck it, just fire. Alright, they're dead. Killed them in one hit. Continue. Alright, hey, look at that! Another shot. Uh, they have a halberd beam here. A Hermes missile launcher. Um, requires three. It shoots three missiles, I think? Or is it shoot? It just shoots one really big missile that does three damage. Uh, not bad. Not really good either. Um, so we're gonna ignore it. Uh, I wanna get cloaking, but we got time to get cloaking, so I'm not gonna get it right now. So I'm gonna get the extra two... Um, energy I need to power up our weapon system all the way and then upgrade some more engines capacity Because at some point I will be using engines for something. I'm sure um, Then I would kind of got like a nice um, So 12 drone parts. All right, we'll do that now. We're really hurting on drone parts, which is ironic uh, But you know 48 scrap for 12 parts is two parts per scrap. Oh, that was a bad trade. I'm, I'm an idiot. I should have done the math on that before I... I should have looked before I leaped, is basically what I'm getting at there. Um, which is ironic, because, you know, we're in space, so if you don't look before you leap, you die. And that might be what happens. <laughs> the oxygen system got taken out again. Stop doing that. <laughs> Real annoying. Um, I want to try to take out all of this. Yeah. Yeah. The civilians made a fast retreat. It's probably a smart idea. Because uh, they didn't know, like, what I was all about. They don't know that I'm really the good guys here, you know? Continue. Alright, got another cloaking system, which is alright. Digging this, like, like techno track they got going on in the background here. Um, go there. Uh, don't risk activating it, just dismantle it. Uh, we'll go here. I think we can make this these jumps before the rebel fleet gets here, which would be a good idea. Um, set off without saying goodbye, because NGs are douchebags. Well, they're not douchebags, they're just unfeeling robot whores from beyond the stars. Um, oh, right, so this, uh, this rebel drone's got, uh, some kind of, it's got a cloaking system. It's got a, a chain ion, or is that a charge ion? It's a charge ion. And a burst one? Burst two? Burst two. Um... Not bad. Uh, our dodge chance is higher than it should be. <laughs> Just gonna go out right out and say it. It should not be at 24%. I, I, uh, I'm actually pretty sure it should be a lot lower than that. But I'm not gonna complain. Alrighty. Uh, so when they cloak, our weapons don't charge, which is a pain. That's why the cloaking system's super good, because it also works in reverse. But you can also use it to dodge things, because like when you get when you turn on your cloak, you get like a huge dodge chance for a little while. It's really good. Um, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Engie Homeworlds. Oh my god. I do know that if we get the spa the stasis pod like fixed, we have to take it to like the Rock Homeworlds, and like that's where you get like the Crystal Cruiser and stuff like that. But um, I really agree to rescue the store. Cool. Go to the. We'll go to the store. All right, let's go here. What do we got? Who's here? Engage the rebels. Rescue the store. Fuck you, Rebels. You guys are douches. Go ahead and fire it in this way. Um, the reason we start in the shield room is because the shot does more damage the uh, less shields they have. Which is why like getting an Ion Stunner is super good, because then it does 3 damage per room, and 4 rooms is 12 damage, and I think my ship barely has that much HP. Like, I think it, like... My ship would be severely damaged by that. Um, acquired sh da powers three, and it shoots four shots in 20 seconds. That's not bad. Another ion stunner would be pretty nice. But you know what? I think we're good with the glaive beam. I think I just want to get some more reactor power to uh, power up our engines. And you know what? We'll power up twice more with that. Get some good old dodge chance up in here. We'll grab another thing for another clone bay. And then we will do go to the distress beacon. See what's up over here. We get a lot of scrap on um, on easy. Uh, 
Easy is incredibly easy, is basically what I'm getting at. Uh, on normal, you get a lot less scrap, and the enemies do a lot more damage. But I'm also super bad, so, you know, bear with me while I play on easy, because, you know, I, I'm still learning. I'm still not super good. I'm really not comfortable with Alania's ship. We got lucky getting a glaive beam, but, you know... Okay, so double hull lasers. Oh, no, they require three powers? Or, no, this one requires two. This one requires three. But it shoots three shots every 15 seconds. There's two shots every every 12, 14 seconds. Um, so this one's just like intrinsically better. Uh, I'm trying to think. So if we get rid of the chain light, the train laser, which I think at its like fastest spin, at its fastest spin, you fire. It gets like. Um, chain charge cap. So it shoots one shot every seven seconds at maximum charge. So that means it would shoot two shots in 14 seconds. Three shots in 21 seconds. Yeah. Which means that the the whole laser is better than the chain laser. Yes, it is. I'm gonna go with it. We're going with it. I need another uh, weapon power, which is fine. I can get that really easily for all of my scrap, but really easily. All right, so now we got a whole laser. Um, whole lasers do double damage when they hit a room that doesn't have like a thing in it. So like any like empty squares, like if you look at my ship, another store. Um, we'll repair, grab some fuel. Uh, if you look at my ship, like, these rooms are systemless. They don't have anything in them. They don't have, like, a little symbol in them. So if I were to shoot that with a whole laser, it does double damage, which I think on this case means it does, like, six damage with the whole two. Uh, can you fix this? Um, all right, we got Ru Wen. He's a, a crystal dude. He's got the lockdown ability. Um, he's also a super, super, super duper good pilot or engine guy. But Eric's not bad. I mean, he's worse than Crystal Man here, but, um... Reduced suffocation damage, movement speed reduced by 20%, health is increased by 2, 125, and he's got the lockdown power, which allows him, I think that allows him to, like, like, freeze a room. Uh, but, since he's, like, spare dude, um, since he's, like, a spare dude, we'll just put him in the, put him in the shield room with the NG. That way, the shield, like the shields, are very important because they are a defensive measure, basically. So if we can keep them up pretty constantly, that would be ideal. That would be very ideal. All right, attack the ship. Here they come. We're gonna go over here. We'll just, you know, what? we'll just use Crystal Dude to like fight this guy. Um, shoot at this. Shoot at this. That was very poor use of my weaponry, but whatever. I don't. I don't really care. Um, go on, you go back over here and use the lockdown ability to like freeze up this thing. All right, the mantis fucked off, and which is you know bad news for him because he's gonna die in like uh, a couple seconds when that whole laser fires. <laughs> All right, there we go. Easily done. Uh, got some good scrap and some fuel out of that. We'll jump to the exit. Ruen is, uh, pretty hurt, but... Hail the ship. Um... You know what? Just fuck it. I just... I don't... You can sometimes get, like, good weapons and stuff, and sometimes they turn into stores, but... I'll be straight. Sometimes they also kill crew members for no reason and I don't want to lose any of the Crusaders. I want to make it to the end of the game with the Crusaders all intact. That's what I want. Um, Alright, let's see here. Uh, we can get an automated reloader. It's super good. Uh, it basically just makes our shit shoot faster which is really good. Especially when coupled with the fact that you have like good weapons personnel it makes it shoot even faster. Uh, so actually, you know what? We're going to pick that up. Why not? I got an extra scrap right now. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, we're gonna grab another bar of shields. Well, eventually, actually, you know what? Another bar of shields. Or three bars. Um, and we'll just keep jumping. So that just means now we need, just need some reactor power. We've got the weapons we want. At least the weapons that I want. Um, 
I mean, ideally, I would have like a burst three or something like that, or a two burst twos, which would be really good. But you know, if and but it's like you know, if everybody had a wish, they'd be worth a dollar. I don't. There's an adage about wishes, and if everybody had one or everyone's got one or something, it's really stupid. All right, that's a burst five it, or burst three. It shoots five laser beams, and it just does tons of damage. Um, alright, let's go ahead and cut through this stuff. Oh, okay, so the three bars of shield will block our weaponry here. Tony the Mantis, why don't you get out of that room? Um, NG, why don't you go fix the oxygen? Okay, good, it's not on fire. Not on fire is good. I appreciate that. Um, go ahead and fire the glaive beam like. Uh, go ahead and fire it like so. Alright, good. Shoot at that a little bit more. So, um, if you're wondering why, uh, we're near a solar, like a, like a red giant, and what the red giants do is they just cause fires everywhere, and fires everywhere is obviously a bad thing. Um, so we're just gonna open up all the doors in any of the rooms that I can't see, uh, and just suck the oxygen out, because I can't see them because our sensors are offline because they were on fire for a little while. Um, just a distress beacon over here. So we're basically jumping in like half destroyed because I don't want to be chilling out somewhere where there's a bunch of fire. Um, doesn't sound like anything else is on fire right now. So we're going to send Tony Mantis back into this room. Send Rob back into the shields. I think we might be alright. So why don't you go in here, Mr. Ruin? Ruin? More like, uh, more like, uh, the Crusader, <laughs> Crusady, Crusady? Yeah, our new mascot, Crusady the Crystal Guy. Super hype. Alright, um, I think, I think having the Mantis, like, have repair skill, like, basically makes him even out. Alright, so we're in a... We got a bit of damage, but that's alright. Um, promised to help. NG crew. Alright, I got 69 scrap for that, which is, you know, super good, obviously. It's magic numbers. Um, go ahead and upgrade that. And, um... I mean... I guess we can upgrade the hacking system twice, and then we'll power that up, because that's, like... Uh, can I get there from here? Yeah. Alright. So I want to make sure I have enough time to, like, actually get to where I want to go. Um, that would be good. Uh, ion stunner and hole laser on that. So they have, like, the super shield, which is this green bar. Basically, like, this shield just blocks shots. That's what it does. That's all it does. And, um, it blocks, like, one shot per, like, bit of the shield. And it works like a health beat, like a health meter like in a video game instead of like recharging it just eats it regardless which is it's good it's really good because it blocks like missiles and stuff and all damage is created equal in its eyes except for beams beams fuck it up fuck it up real good i just realized this episode's like i i was supposed to stop this thing at like 30 minutes or so and i didn't it's just gonna be a really long episode i'm sorry like if you if you don't want to watch like if you if you're here now you know congrats you you came back and I appreciate you I appreciate you I really do um, but I'm real sorry I, I promise in the future if I ever do this again I will you know cut it and stuff so it's not like a billion years long which you know obviously is not a good thing it's not a bad thing either like some people like really long videos which is fine I I am counted amongst those peoples. I like super long videos. I don't mind, um... I don't mind, like, watching something for, like, an hour or so. I, I find it fun. But that's just me. They survive because they have that stupid, like, rock augment that, like, sometimes makes it so that their ship doesn't take damage. But that doesn't matter when I shoot the crap out of your system with rooms. Warlord! Got an achievement. I think that's the achievement for blowing up a thousand ships. Which is pretty hype. And also kind of metal. I like it. Got a Hole Smasher Laser Mark II. So we got another one of these things. 
Um, if I had the power, I would use both, but I don't, so we're not gonna. Um, because you can only have, like, a maximum of eight power in your weapon system. Um, attack the ship, get at the storage cache. I mean, I guess, theoretically, I could use two hole smasher lasers and then, a, like, an ion stunner, but I would need another ion stunner then. Like, if I had, like, another ion weapon, I would do that, but... Yeah, I don't, so... I mean, clearly I don't. I have... I have had... I've gotten, like, four weapons during the course of this, and... You know, they're not that. Go ahead and shoot the crap out of that. Alright. Blew that dude up. Up, oh, they hit our shields. Got a swarm missile. Now, the swarm missile is interesting. So, it requires two power. Um... Which I, I can't actually have. Um... But basically, like, you can charge it up, and then it shoots, like lots of missiles all at once, which is really good, and I think you can, like, target them to different places, which is also really good. Um, Alright, so they got a, they got two beam drones, and what appears to be a burst, I think that's a burst two, and a heavy laser. Heavy laser shoots one, I think this one shoots three, yeah. So that's enough to take down our shield, but our shield guy is super hype, so it doesn't matter. And their weapons are all offline, and we're good. Now we just wait. Now we just wait. Uh, I should upgrade our reactor some more so I can get uh, the maximum hacking. Hacking! A lot of drone parts. Lots of good stuff. And our final one is an abandoned sector. Totally useless. Um, I'll get these last two things of this. And I think I will upgrade this again. Because it apparently heals us for a large amount, regardless of how much um, reactor power is in it. Like, it doesn't have to be powered to heal us, which is interesting. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining, again, but whatever. Um, Alright, I also need to find somewhere to offload this whole laser. Not that scrap's really useful for me anymore, to be honest, because now I'm, I'm fully decked out and everything I can... I, I can have. Um, I mean, I guess I can upgrade, like, the piloting system and all that stuff, but, like, that's just me, like, looking for something to spend scrap on. And it's like, why would I bother doing that? Um, it's just annihilate that guy. Should go in there. Gotta get this oxygen fixed before we ship off to Boston. Whoa! This is a good song, shipping off to Boston. Not. There we go. Got maximum subsystems too. So now we can see like crazy shit inside of their ship. Totally useless. Like, no reason for that at all. Um. Engage the autopilot and safely harvest the debris. Cool. Um. I mean, I guess that's that's something good that came out of upgrading those systems. Uh, Line A screw. Ask for an alternative trade. Uh. Fa no. Because again, scrap not useful for me right now. Uh, it just really isn't. Uh, promised help. NG crew. Cool. And there's a store. Yeah, there's a thing called an, a weapon pre-igniter, which basically means you enter the fight with your weapons, like, charged and ready to go. Uh, if we got that, I would be in on that, because weapon pre-igniter is always a good thing. I've never run into a situation where it was a detriment. <laughs> so, um... That's why I'm still going to these things. The defense scrambler is pretty good. Um, so is mind control for that matter. I mean, look at mind control. Why not? I don't have the power to use it, but fuck it, we'll grab it. Um, I do want. I don't need the scrap recovery arm anymore, but I do want this defense scrambler. Uh, basically, what that does is it makes it so defense drones can't shoot down my hacking drone anymore, which is really good. Um, I think that's everything I can take away from, like, one thing from the engines to power up the mind control device. Uh, mind control does what it says it does. You, like, hit it, and then you click a dude, and then they, like, get mind controlled. And they fight for you for a little while, and most of the time they end up getting murdered, but, you know, it's one less crew member for you to worry about. That kind of thing. Um, let's go ahead and shoot like this, cut their ship to ribbons, 
cut your ship into ribbons. This is your last resort. Suffocation. No reason. See, like, the defense drone's, like, wigging out over here now. Because I know, um, the final, like, the boss ship, like, like the, the rebel flagship thing, uh, it has a, it has a defense drone that can shoot down laser weaponry, which is a big pain in the ass. Um, I don't need to tell you guys that. That's just a big pain in the dick. Um, hey, quit it. Alright, why don't you guys keep fighting it out. Suck the oxygen out of that room. Can we just jump to the exit from here? Yeah. Jump to the exit and heal our dudes a little bit. I know there's still dudes on board, but... I mean, whatever. That guy's gonna suffocate soon anyway. Doesn't really matter. Uh, mantises are also... They're really good at, like, fighting. Because they have, you know, horrible mantis claws. Um, it's like Santa Claus, but for mantis. And they called him Mantis Claws. Um, alright, there we go. We made it to the final sector. With this Lania ship. We're, I don't... I don't foresee us being able to beat the boss ship with this ship. We're doing alright. But we're not, like... We're not that good. We're good, but we're not that good. And, um... I mean, the main problem is that, like, the boss ship has, like four bars of shields, like, a bunch of other stuff, and so, like, there's gonna be a lot of us, like, we have to, like, wait and use our weapons appropriately and stuff like that. I mean, the glaive beam can cut through two layers of shields to hurt stuff, which is good. Um, that's what makes it, like, one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, I'm jumping to this repair node so I don't have to fight anything before I get to the Rebel flagship. Better not to be hurt before going there than it is to, um, you know, get there and have to, like, heal up or something. What is this going to hit? Ah, oh, weapons. Okay. Um, so this is bad. It's really bad. Um, the reason this is bad is because uh, they're going to keep hacking our shit. And if they hack our shit, then we can't do anything to them. Which is a big pain. And I was originally going to go ahead and like just, you know, not have that happen, but you know, what can you do? All right, now, oh fuck. Okay, so they hacked us again. They're draining all of our all of our weapon power. They're really hammering on us right now. All right, so uh, as soon as the hack's done, we'll go ahead and drain their shields. Um, I needed to move. Uh, uh, okay, ion stunner there. Then we need a glaive beam. I hit some stuff. I did some damage, which is really good. Um, it wasn't to anything that I wanted to hit. Like, I really wanted to try to hit... Um, what's it called? Uh, their hacking modules, what I want to hit from now on. Alright, just keep at it. We'll be fine if we can just... If we can just keep hurting them, we'll be fine. Um, Mantis Man, you're in a lot of trouble because you can't repair worth a frickin' damn. Get in there and fix that, please. Alright, now the oxygen should flood back into that room soon. Um, Alright, we're just waiting. We're, like, literally just waiting. Um, all of our systems are on fire. Like, there's a lot of bad stuff occurring right now. I need to go ahead and get Nick. I need Nick out of that room, please. Um, crap factory... You guys come over here. Um, we're gonna die. I don't... I don't foresee this going well. Um... No, there's like... There's fires everywhere, and... Um... I... I can't. <sighs> Let's jump away. Um... I can't get anywhere to repair for right now. Um, no, there's no way. Everything's on fire. Everything's wrong. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no way. The fire's just gonna spread out of control inside of the ship, and I can't. I don't have, like, the requisite crew necessary to, like, do that and fight them at the same time. Yeah, this is where we're gonna die. This is where we die. Uh... 
Goodbye, crew world and all that inhabit it. Yep, there it goes. Boom. Alright, well, I mean, that was a disappointing run. I mean, we made it to the Rebel flagship, which is cool. We'll go to the stats screen here. I mean, that was the third best run I've ever done, apparently. Um, I beat the game on with this ship, actually. So, I mean, so that's there. Uh, yeah, but with that, um, thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, uh, let me know. If you want to see more, uh, you know, you can check out the channel for more stuff. I normally post on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and uh, you can expect more content from me there. Uh, if you want to see more of FTL, just let us know, and I, I will make more stuff. Um, but with that, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-ya!